What's up? Welcome to the first episode of Action Takers. Now, today on the show, we have Country Cowboy, who is a huge online influencer and online celebrity. He's going to be going deep on how he built his influence. So before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can get updates on all the interviews and content coming from this channel. So let's go take some massive action. Welcome to Action Takers, where we are interviewing guests who are creating a future where they're in control. And we do this so you can learn the secrets from them and apply it to your own success. I'm your host, Princeton Hicks, and today I have the greatest country cowboy. Now, this guy, yes, sir. I've worked with him a lot. I've worked with him a lot. He's a big time influencer. You already know. I don't I don't got to act like we don't know who who you are or I don't know who you are. But basically, big time influencer, so much influence on Instagram, changing the game and me and him have partnered to teach people how to become an influencer, just yeah. do some crazy yeah. stuff like that. So yeah. go ahead and um, just say something for the people real quick coming into the show. Uh, just, I just want to say, man, I appreciate you for having me out here. I'm uh, the first guest on uh, the Action Taker, so that's going to go down in history, especially after there's a million of these different episodes. And I just know the type of value that we plan on bringing, the type of guys that we are when we, uh, when we start something, how we handle it. You know what I'm saying? So if this is your first time watching this, I want you to, uh, you know, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because just like this one, there will be many more great ones. Definitely. You know, we did Mama's House and Penthouse together, so this is just kind of yeah, just gonna, what we do. This going to just be a boom, bam, swiggity, swiggity. <laughs> exactly. So um, I guess for the first episode, like you said, this is the first episode of Action Takers. And for me, I felt like who better to interview than somebody I fuck with personally, Yeah. right? Somebody that I know personally, I've worked with a lot, and I know their character, but... For well, the people who don't know you, yeah, please just lay it on them. Your story. How did you get started? And uh, just tell them what you're doing. How do you get started? How you got started so they can understand? Okay, so basically, I am a influencer, and I teach people how to build uh, influence for themselves, right? But initially, how I got started was uh, in college. So you know, after high school, you pretty much enter the world. You know what I'm saying? You in there? You got your little stipend or whatever. You're in college. You know, financial aid. You good? You just kind of coasting. So you got room to create. So I uh, quickly figured out that I could create these different characters in person. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, and and you can create characters anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I I the one that I just gravitated to the most was the in person character for some reason. It was like the character that I can play in front of people. I don't know why that was so I was so infatuated with that, but uh, it led me to start doing a workout class uh, out here in Houston. And uh, from, from that workout class, I just kept being that character, kept meeting more people. The character became this greater character, which is Country Cowboy, the, the brand name that I have now. And this character just became some, some, something like locally known for uh, health and fitness, something locally known for uh, 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 entertainment, heavy entertainment, like turned up entertainment, like real wild ratchet. I'm talking about. You know the type of party, <laughs> you know, the type the, the type of party you would want to do when you were younger. You know what I mean? Back in college, you know what I'm saying? Like, like the pajama parties and yeah, you know the like whole nine. It just the the brand name became why in that area. But it taught me uh, something. It taught me uh, like that I could create this this different vibe and and monetize it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that kind of led me uh, to, to 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 where we are now. Like we linked up together and started creating multiple uh, different products that, that that we sold off of influence and things of that nature. But uh, that's kind of like how uh, I got to where I am today. Honestly, just uh, creating, like being in that college space, being able to uh, create freedom, like just being able to freedomly create and just push the bar forward. It led me to becoming a, uh, you know, what I'm saying a greater influencer in in all types of niches, and then we just kind of monetized all that and put it yeah. online, and that's pretty much what it is. So I got a good question for you. I believe that, um, and I, this is something we talk about all the time. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you think's the mentality that stops people from just going to go ahead and being an influence? Really, because I think it applies to entrepreneurship. I also think it applies to just putting yourself out there in general. Yeah. So I think one of the biggest reasons like people don't do that because. For me, I know I believe it's the mindset, but maybe you have a different opinion on that. I believe I believe it's the mindset for sure, and I just like one hundred percent the mindset. But a particular one that I know uh, I just heard from my friend last night. They, she she just said she just doesn't believe that she's that type of person. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And which goes back to the mindset. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
because if if because instantly you can switch that belief and just yeah. become the type of person that, that 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 is that type of person, and it's literally a switch like that. And we talk about that in uh, the influencer, yeah. uh, the course, yeah. the online yeah. course, yeah. Yeah. and that's pretty much yeah. So, of what, course. so, what, do you, so what do you think that's fear? You think you think that's like just they're scared, they're worried about criticism, they're worried about their mom gonna say like, what do you think that is? A mixture of all of that. It's a gumbo pot, you know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> when you when within having the influencer mindset, we talked about that, right? Yeah. Really, um, it's it's literally it's literally a mindset thing. Yeah. It's like switching it. You know what I'm saying? It's that easy. But a lot of people, like you said, you just don't believe in themselves at the moment. But with uh with, with the proper training and the proper information that gets instilled into your brain, a lot of things can be switched. That's why you know they say uh, knowledge is power. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. Um, one of my favorite quotes is uh from my from my favorite book. I always talk about this, but I know I probably beat this book to death. Um, yeah. Iron Will, and it says, I, I love this line because it was like the world takes us at our own valuation. It believes yeah. in the man who believes in himself, but has little use for the timid man one who's not certain on himself, who can't rely on his own judgment, is the man exactly. with a positive ma nature who believes they are equal to the emergency that accomplishes great things. And I like that because it's just basically saying like what you're saying right here is like, if you believe you're not that type of person, shit, the world's like, shit, you're not that type of All person. Right, you're not, so, you're not. Like you gotta value yourself at a certain level. I think that's just interesting. So. I guess. And that, that, that is interesting because you can take that to, to entrepreneurship. You can take exactly. that to influence. You can take that to anything. Yeah, it's like, if you just, just, like, like how, you how I'm supposed to fuck with this, you don't fuck with it. Exactly. Yeah, and then we talk. That's what, why I said. What was that inside? Uh, that post you had that one time? You remember? Which one? You, when uh, it was uh, Mo3 was in the background, but you was like, oh, yeah, man, people be like, doing I, that I, I can't I can't date a woman that don't, that, that love me more than she exactly. loves herself because. I, I can't. I, that just that's just, that, that don't make no sense. You know what he was like, people be doing they self bad. It's like, yeah, yeah. That, that way. You know what I'm saying? But that's really that's really the truth. Yeah, it's honestly, it honestly is. Yeah. So I was looking at something here in Entrepreneur Magazine. They was talking about uh, fake influencers, and I think this is something that um, we we've, we've ran into a lot that people talking about. You know, um, should I buy followers? What's being a fake influence and stuff like that? And we actually even spoke at the AMA about this. So. Yeah, I guess one of some of the things that you look for, and I think this ties right into the course. What are some of the things that you look for to say, like, hey, this is a real influencer versus a fake influencer? One thing off the rip you can look at uh, is if their uh, their ability to speak on camera. Not 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 saying that they have to be super fluent and yeah, this and that. You know what I mean? But are they even willing? Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because some people, some people are, uh, they, they don't have the influence of mindset, which is like, hey, I'm going to put my personality online. Yeah. Fuck it. Here it goes. Yeah, right? exactly. And you got to just drop it on there. You got to drop it on all these platforms. But a lot of people don't have that mindset yet. You know what I'm saying? So that, 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 that right there is one of them for sure. I'm just thinking about, uh, yeah, it's the, it. <laughs> Cause I, cause I, cause now you got me, now you got me, now, now, now my brain is racing yeah. in that, in that area. Well, yeah. Like, I mean, I think it's a big thing. You, I think what you just mentioned though is, is huge because when I look at that, I say to myself, like a lot of people are looking at metrics, but they're not looking at the person. Like, will people actually listen to this person? Yeah. Like you get what I'm saying? Like we can get past all the metrics. Will they actually listen? And if they don't do that, I don't, I don't think you're really influenced. You're just a person with a lot of clock. Cause you, did you see the, um, and I'll probably put it up, but did you see when they had the the post where the girl had like, I would say 16 million followers? And she couldn't sell 32 shirts? And she couldn't sell 32 shirts. And they, that's, they, they, that's what I'm saying. They, and dirty, that's what I'm... they dirty for putting like 32 shirts. Because, you know, from a marketing standpoint, I'm like, oh, y'all being funny. Like, 32. <laughs> you know, ask, said, 32, 32 shirts. shirts. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. That's why my brain racing because like, with the influence of mindset, like that, you understand, like the more and more I put my emotions on these platforms, the more and more people become emotionally connected to me. So it'll become easier to sell shirts. You know what I'm saying? You get where I'm going? It's almost so it's like, like they're buying you instead of the stuff. Yeah, that's the thing though. That's the, that's, that's what it is as far as like, um, the influence of mindset too though. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you have to understand that. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I think is like, crazy about you though 
I think that you are one of the rare people who, one, you've always got a positive mindset. Every time I've seen you, you're always very positive, even in negative times. But I think you're able to really blend the, I'm actually doing something with my life and then the fun aspect, that FOMO that mm -hmm. people see. Like, like just, okay, he's doing some business shit, but it ain't, it all, it ain't clinical. No, it ain't. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got to show up to the office. We got to we got to be in a suit every day. I think you're the first person I've seen. That's just what's remarkable about you to me. And I think that's just powerful. Like what what is that? Like what is that about? I, like I know we've talked about it before. What is that about? Like where does that come from? Um, you said you said just being able, I just I think we 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 spoke about this uh a lot of times. And it's just the vibe, understanding to keep the vibe high. A lot of top influencers understand that. That's why when you go to their pages, you get this like good dose of good energy and you continue to go back. You know what I'm saying? Content. Yeah, it's just feel good content. A lot of top influencers understand that. It's like, just fun, just fun. Let's just make sure fun, fun is going on. It just needs to be fun. Like, yes, let's handle everything. Let's make sure everything is handled for sure. But the fun aspect just can't be removed because then it's like, what are we doing this for? You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to make sure that we at least have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Every time. I feel like that's the least we can do. Every time, no. Every time but, we are having a good time. I think we have, time. though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me ask you something, then. Uh, starting off, the big thing is I want to grow my following. I want to grow my following, right? Like, somebody wants to grow their following. What, what, what do we do? What are the first things we need to start off with? Because I know, like I said, hey, post three times a day or mm -hmm. be active on these social networks. That's something that I feel like, you know, a lot of people do. And sometimes you'll post, you don't get much traction. But as an influencer, somebody who actually ran it up on social media, like one of some of the things that you look for that you could tell me or anybody yeah. that they need to do in order to be successful at social media or just online persona. I would say first thing you should do is uh, run over to social palooza, the social palooza dot com, okay, and uh, take our free social media course. The second thing I would do is I would add. Listen, I would add. If you, I don't know if you're doing this or if you're not doing this, but you should really consider doing this. Add a ton of emotion into your social media pages. Um, I'm currently in the process of doing that on YouTube. Okay, like the people need to emotionally have a connection with you and you can really 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 display that on these social media platforms so like a lot of times we think man i don't want to post this it, it may be exactly what you need to post yeah. to drive that emotional connection and this is what's going to have people sharing your content engaging with your content and you know the more engagement signals you get on these profiles i mean on these social media profiles um, the more and more your page get recommended to the explore page on all of these networks, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So the more likely it becomes one of those pieces of content that uh, that may go viral. So really, it's a domino effect, and, and, and it's uh, it's more of a, a personality um, switch, you know what I'm saying? But it's something that can really like instead of going by the followers, you know what I'm saying? Instead of going by using these bots and things of that nature, that's one of the principles that uh, that, that we even talk about in the influencer that you can instantly implement into your social media career, like right now. And I guarantee you, it's it's free. It's free of charge. It's just a. It's literally just a mindset switch. Like okay, fuck it. I want. I want. I got my. I got my. I got my uh, lip liner product. I need to sell it. I'm just about to hop on my story today and I'm going to let people know about it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just going to put a lot of emotion about it, uh, a lot of emotion into my post about my product. And then let's just see what happens. And then before you know it, things start picking up and then posts start going viral and things start because you believe in your product. You are showing the emotion. You know what I'm saying? So those are the things where I, that's one thing for sure. Just having emotion, building, putting more emotion into like how you speak. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and into your social media pages that I know that can instantly help you grow. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, like you said, um, most people shit dry. I'm being yeah, honest. That's all it is. You can't tell who they are. And I think um, you touched on something huge, though, that I do want to go back on. You talked about creating emotion. Now, a lot of times in marketing, <laughs> when, I'm when I'm talking to somebody about marketing, I'm always telling them that emotion is what creates motion in people. I don't care yeah. about what you're selling, what you're doing. Like, if you don't manage to get some type of emotion into the content or what you're doing, it's just not gonna move people to buy. Cause 
Um, it's this great thing they say in sales that we buy based on emotion and we justify on logic. And what it seems like you're suggesting here is that we have to focus on that emotional aspect or people are just not going to pay attention to us. I know, like, exactly. for example, if you want to talk about it, because I know people are scared of this one. And I think this one is huge, is the idea of being polarizing, because I think that's yeah. that's something that you're so effective at, that you're yeah. so good at is being polarizing to people because you can get on there, like love them or hate them, like say a Donald Trump or a Kanye West. People are crazy to people in people's eyes, right? You're still talking yeah. about them all the time, right? And I think that's yeah. something I've seen about six you. Nine. Cash is six nine. Oh, yeah. shit. You know, the whole snitching thing, right? Like people, oh, he's yeah, snitching, he ratted, but he got the most attention. And he literally on there talking about shit. I'd be mad too. You spend, exactly. you spend your whole day <laughs> trying to be real, and then somebody who ratted come on and, they, and, they're, and they're getting they got more, more attention. They got more exposure. So, I guess um, just going into that, like that idea of being polarizing, like what is your thought process? Because a lot of people are scared to be polarizing. Like a lot of people are scared to put themselves out there in that way. So like, what is kind of your thought process if we're working backwards that says, hey, all right, this is why I'm gonna put this voice out here. This is why I'm gonna put this message out here. What creates that in you where you just like, fuck it, I don't, I don't care. I'm gonna put this shit out. And that's what it is. Yeah, I think that's a, a personality thing that that, that 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 I built up to, you know what I'm saying, get to because I think that that's something that uh that that that's, that I believe that that'll take a I don't think I, I literally think it's a, a a mindset switch, honestly. Like and um I guess what helps me in that particular area, honestly, is that uh I just I just know that um I know that the people, they, my best, the, the best way, because I'm trying to figure out how to word it properly. The best way I can put it is I just know that people don't really care, like how they, like how, how it seems, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just because of the way I consume content. Like, I just like to put myself in the audience and shoes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just know that even the most, and, and, and maybe I think what really helped me was, uh, <laughs> building that uh that snapchat community yeah. just seeing the type of people that uh interacted with it, it was all types of people like and for those of you who don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about uncut it was a snapchat community uh dope snapchat community that was crazy basically, but basically amateur porn it, it, it's, taught it's, me cool. Polar, it's cool it taught me yeah it taught me it, it taught me polarization yeah. though it taught me like the 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 it, I, and i saw polarization at the highest form yeah you know what i'm saying if you really think about it yeah and I, and, and I was controlling it at the highest form. So I got to see, like, it got to the point to where, like, I had to send all of the videos to the different pages in the different commercial departments. So I just saw all types of shit. So I just saw the highest polarizing shit that you could possibly post. So when I head over to uh, Instagram or YouTube, it's like me. I'm just being myself. Yeah. So at this point, but it, but, but, but it, and I also wanted to say this too at the beginning. Being polarizing doesn't necessarily mean that you go off and go cursing, yes. you go off and go po posting like some outrageous shit like I post, you know what I'm saying? You go off and do, do, do shit like that. It may literally be your opinion on something because of the dip, because of the like specific niche that you're in. So if you're into politics and you say some, and you, uh, you know, just anything, you just, you just say some polarizing shit in your specific niche. If you're a vegetarian and you say something about like, you know, eaters. I mean, yeah, like I be saying, I'm a homegirl. She's a vegetarian. She be going hard. Yeah. Her content is polarizing though, so that's why she has so many followers. But she's real. She says polarizing things within the vegan community. Yeah. So you don't necessarily have to take polarization as something that you have to model after somebody. It's just some. We all are polarizing when we're comfortable. Like when we with our friend. Be that. Be that person. Here's a. Here's a. Here's a good way to unlock it. Be just one day, analyze how you are with your friends, how comfortable you are, analyze the way that you joke, analyze the way that you talk, analyze the, the, the way that you do all of this shit. And I, and, and, and I challenge you the next day to take that same energy to uh, your social media platform behind your product. Yeah. Just see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, I, I hope you're not a negative person because you take that type of energy towards your product. It's not gonna sell it all, but you know what I mean. Oh, Just be you. you. Be you. <laughs> be you. That's all I'm saying. Be you. Yeah. And the best thing, the best thing that's gonna happen is that the, the least that will happen is that the type of people that need to come into your life will come. Yeah. And 
And, 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 and even in the personal, like that's that's really what it is. The moment you become yourself, you attract all of the people to you. There's no social media tactic other than that. Yeah. Motherfuckers keep trying to go buy some shit. I think it's like you need to understand they keep trying to go buy followers. You need to understand that like once you become who you are, people come to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's just that, that that that's just the that's just the way it is. Yeah. I think that's crazy though, right? Like you said, like people don't want to build a true following. You know what I'm saying? Cuz it's like yeah. you can build up 100,000 people, but if if they don't really fuck with you, you kind of wasted your time, right? Exactly. So yeah. I guess uh, going back to that, uh, you talked about uh, how you got started, but I guess one thing I want to cue on is like, what do you feel like is the biggest thing that you want to accomplish with all this? Like what's, like, what's something you try to send to people? Because you talked about positivity. We talked about huge mm-hmm. mindsets. I feel like people kill themselves because they just, they're so fucking negative, right? They listen to their parents, they listen to their friends and family, and they tell them, oh, this shit can't be done. And then they take that in. But for you, like, what is the mission for you that kept you like, well, fuck it. This is what Cowboy is doing. And this is how I'm moving forward. I was just talking to Justin about this. Life purpose, right? I believe mine is to show people that you do not have to switch who you are to become this person that you, that, that you see on TV. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like... I always thought that, you know, like growing up in high school and shit like that, I was always cool, but I just thought that I had to be like that person in order to be cool. But I was like, not looking back, it was like, bro, you was always cool. You just had to understand that. And then once I owned it, once I owned my height, once I owned my way, once I owned everything, I was even able to like work on myself in specific areas to, 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 you know, just enhance it. But I'm just saying, once I owned who I was, everything started coming my way. You know what I'm saying? Like all of the things that I needed to push my business life for, my relationship life for, my love, everything, everything just, just comes this way. So it's like, I guess really, I just want to leave uh, the people with, honestly, I got, I, and, and this is just something that's on my mind right now. I just want to say it. Yo, you have to, have to, have to, have to believe in yourself. Because if you do not, then it's just the energy that that, that you give off to people. They won't, they won't, they, they'll feel it. They'll feel it. They'll, they, you can feel in my words that like, I mean what I say. And that's just that, that, that's so important when you, you know, creating content and when you want people to believe in your word, when you want people to purchase products from you, when you want people to actually go take their the time out of their day, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To go search you and what you do and how you can provide a service they, for good. They don't so, owe you nothing. They don't owe you shit, man. Nobody owes you nothing. You know what I mean? So I just think it's super important, you know what I'm saying, to to, to be yourself and believe in yourself. As cliche as is, and many podcasts you didn't hop on and heard it, it's the, 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 just understand how serious it is, y'all. It's, it, it's, it's extremely serious. You know, I always tell people about people saying things are cliche. It's like, just because things are cliche doesn't mean they're not true. And I think for me, I've gotten to the point now where like, shit, I'd rather get the message hammered in from 30 different angles. Like, because it just solidifies because we forget. We forget all the time. I don't care what you say. You forget all the time that, yeah, shit, I just need to believe in myself. Because when shit goes wrong, you're like, damn, I'm not believing in myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think that's huge. So I guess with that being said, let's talk about, let's talk about the influence. Right. Let's talk about because yeah. I believe that's a big part of the mission. It's like you're literally taking people, and you know I helped you with this. Like I don't want to yeah. act like yeah. I'm I'm not a part of it, right? But yeah. um, so on the course, we're literally talking about the 17 principles that take somebody from influence, and this is based on a lot of research. So let's let's talk about that. Like, what was the inspiration for creating the influencer? Um, pretty much like the inf- the, the, the inspiration for, for creating the influencer. Uh, we, um, you know, we are into like, you know, think and grow rich and everything like that. So uh, the 17 success principles was something that uh, was sitting here in the, the living room. And I remember looking at it and I was like, yo, influence. And we was talking about this in the kitchen. It was like, yo, influence uh, is something that's been around for a very, very, very long time. It's been here since before social media. It's been here since says, oh my God, says before anybody could even think about it. And uh, we, uh, we, we was like, yo, let's create the 17 immutable laws of influence. Same thing. It's literally the same thing. It's 
the, the, the 17 immutable laws of influence is similar to the 17 laws of success and it was inspired by it. Um, the laws definitely aren't the same, but you embody principles to create a character. And if you read and look at and look through the influencer, you'll see each principle and you'll start thinking about like all of the different influential people that you know, all of the famous people. And you'll read through it and you'll be like, oh man, damn, that's crazy. They do have this principle. They do have this principle. They do have this principle. So like when we created the influencer, it was inspired from the 17 laws of uh Success, but that's literally what it is. It's, it's it's like a piece of content that 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 teaches you how to embody a character instead of going by followers and you know what I'm saying and and just you know just using automation software and things of that nature. Of course, you know we tested those waters and that's how we know that that's not the play, the true. Instagram, you know Instagram will snatch your shit. Instagram will snatch you down if you play with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But and that's just because back in the gap, I want everybody to know back in the gap, every platform is a little loose at the beginning, but then they begin to tighten up. Yeah. So I mean as they revenue Instagram starts going stop up. Playing. Huh? As they revenue start going up and they start having more. You know, I, I saw this one time and one of my friends, he runs he runs a delivery company, right? And he was yeah. talking about like after a while, your customers get more sophisticated. So as a, any platform gets bigger, they just got so many more customers to adhere to that they got to change stuff up. Because think about exactly. that. So it's not even, don't even take a person. <laughs> so I think that's huge. Um, like I said, I guess one of the big questions um, that I, I get all the time asking me when it comes to influence is, um, you know, um, can anybody become an influencer? And I guess I've struggled with this idea because I think about it when it comes to success. I've argued my, down my brothers, my friends, family that like, I believe anybody can be anything if they really want to. But what are your thoughts on that? Like, can anybody be influenced? Is this something like, hey, this is a God given talent? They're in this mindset that like, I have to have a God given talent. I have to, it has to be mm -hmm. descended from the heavens. Like somebody had to bless me, anoint me with some special oil. Like it had to be in my yeah, genetics, you know what I'm example. saying? Like yeah. it had to be in my genetic family tree. I had to hit the lottery. I had to be born a great speaker. And I think it's important to hear from somebody who literally cultivated this shit that it is a learnable skill. It's shit you cultivated and it's a learnable skill. And it's more about how you go into it thinking about it. That's what I'm really trying to drive home to people. It's more about how you think. Yeah. About it. Now, I believe, honestly, like you said, I believe, I believe, and, and this is and this is something, this is what I want to say. I believe anybody can be influenced. Yeah. Right? Anybody. Yeah. It doesn't matter who you are. If you want to become an influencer, you will, because all you need to know are the principles. But if you don't want to, then of course, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Yeah. But that that's literally that what I like you said, I just want to drive home to people that it's some it's a learnable skill. Mm -hmm. Every everything that you see, like especially with like all of these different influences out of these different top famous people, everything that you see them doing is a learnable skill. And it's a personality trait that they, that they all have, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if you understood, all you need to do is understand that they are learnable skills and then you can go learn them. Yeah. But I believe that there's a barrier in between that. A lot of people are just like, well, you just, it's just a God given talent. Like, he was yeah. blessed from the God. That's he had the mighty touch. Like, you, you keep telling yourself that. Yeah. That's not true, you know what I'm saying? None of this shit is true. Most people don't even believe that I used to be shy. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe that. Like, I know. I, I At this point, I know nobody would believe me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I know that I worked my, I like tortured myself into like not being shy and just being this person on camera. Like, I used to, I remember points in my life where I thought that, um, I sounded weird on camera, you know what I'm saying? But now I'm like, who gives a fucking shit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? But like, I had to get to that point, but I know that all of those skills were learnable skills. Like even being able to speak on camera, like I had, you gotta just get in front of the camera a couple of times. Yeah. You gotta just get in the habit of doing it. So it's like, I remember you was telling us, uh, we was watching your first YouTube video the other day. Yeah. It's like, look how horrible I am at speaking, even though I didn't think you was, but like, I'm just saying, at the beginning of anything, right. nobody's great. But it's like, once you know that you can do it, it's like, all right, let's run. I mean, it's one of them situations like, I don't like people to watch me film, not because I'm nervous. I, I really think people get the wrong impression. 
Right? I when I first got out there, I had to do like nine takes just to do one little two minute intro. It's like now yeah. I get out there, and I do a whole video without stopping. But that's learned, and I, that's, yeah. that's, that's like that's what I'm trying to drive home for people. That is all learned behavior. I'm not exactly. I'm not doing this shit magic. And I think seeing you when I first met you, I'm not gonna lie to you. I had that kind of idea, like okay, you know, he got all the followers. And shit like that. Like, I never was, we always talk about this. I never was a fan type, right? I never mm -hmm. was like, oh my God. Like, I don't get starstruck. But what I will say is that part of you is still when you meet these people, you kind of like, okay, there's something different behind them. And I think you were one of the first people to tell me like, hey man, this is the real game of how this shit, how you grow this shit. Like, this is how I build mm -hmm. my following. This is how I did it. And it was very simple stuff. I know. Yeah, it wasn't hard at all. Damn if you, um, or fitness. I don't give a damn if you were entrepreneur, cookies. selling yeah, cookies and shit like that. Like you apply this shit, damn, your shit starts growing. And I think that was one of the biggest things that I took for it, and I start, I start growing from it. Uh, so I guess, I guess I say this right. Like, is anything, any message you want to leave with the people? Like I said, anything that you would like to tell them, like about taking action, because that's what this show is about. We action takers here, yeah. and the reason I want you on here is, yeah, I know you personally, but one thing I know about you. And I want to tell y'all this real quick. When I first was talking to him, you know, I was, um, we was, we was doing, we was in nightlife. We was doing promotion. And I was talking about this idea we was about to bring to nightlife. And he was just antsy. He was sitting on the other side, just antsy, like, shit, I'm ready to go. And I remember you text me. I wish I still had the text message. You was like, hey, look, fuck all that talking. I'm just a dog. I'm ready to go. Like, like, mm -hmm. can you speak to that mentality? Like, what, what type of mentality you need to really just make a difference out here? I think I think it's that I think it's just that dog mentality that 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 fuck it. It's just like understand like we talked about the vibe earlier. Mm -hmm. Just keeping keeping a positive mentality about it all, like having fun, but knowing that fuck it, we going full speed. Mm -hmm. And that kind of like come from sports as a kid. You know what I'm saying? Being able to so grateful to be able to play football like as a, as a youngin, because that that's really what what pushed that in you. It's like your coach. So you got you got some coaches that are very strategical, but you always got that one coach that you kind of gravitate towards because he like man just 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 yeah. go fuck yeah. just just and like because he kind of he kind of congratulates you no matter what yeah. like because because you you like I remember sometimes I used to hit the people on my team that's just how savage I was and like if you was in the way you was getting hit you know what I'm saying and it was that mentality that I took into the real world it was like I don't care. I'm just going to do fuck it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's something I want to leave with the people. Like, fuck, all right. If you don't, if, 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 if you made it this far into this podcast, actually take a podcast, take this. Like, how about this? Let's, let's, let's just do this. Tomorrow, fuck what everybody talking about. Mm -hmm. Fuck it, right? Y'all here with us. Fuck what everybody talking about. Let's just do it all. Yeah. And of course, we can't do it all tomorrow. But let's well, just yeah, go into. can't really go let's, outside let's just, either. <laughs> right. Let's just go. Let's just enter tomorrow with the day. I mean, with the. Uh, let's just enter tomorrow with the mindset of just. I'm just not going to worry about what people are talking about. I don't care what's going on. I'm just. I'm just going to take the actions that are necessary for me to become the person I want to become and do the shit that I want to do. Mm -hmm. Every king in the middle is. It's, it's non essential. Yeah. It's not, it's just not, it's not open right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It just does not matter. Yeah. So, and it's, we're just stripping all of the fat off of everything, everything else. You know what I'm saying? And just aim for it for whatever it is that you want. Yeah. And no matter what, and, and, and it's such, such a beautiful space to be speaking from right now. Cause it's like, no matter what you're going through, it's going to be good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you just, you just got to keep going. It don't, don't even matter, yo. If you plan on creating content like this, it's moments in this video that I don't feel comfortable with, but fuck it, we posting it anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's and, it, and it's so important. It's like as creatives, we just we always we always, bro, we always hurt ourselves fucking worrying about how pretty the thing is. You know what I'm saying? But it's like fuck it, yeah. just put it out. I mean, I think a lot of us become validation whores. Yeah, so. and, and and that's why I say tomorrow, let's all do it. Let's all do it. I'm you said you here right now. Let's do it. Uh, right, right. Uh, fuck it. Right now. Let's do it right now. As soon as we finish watching this video, I want us to enter into the world. Like, fuck it. Them shoulder shrugs. Hey, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do me. I'm just gonna be me. 
And I'm just going to attract the people to my Instagram that want to come. All y'all can come. There's enough space for all y'all. We got enough space. Who, who we got? Uh, uh, our, our boy, uh, Christian, uh, the soccer player, got so many millions of followers. Oh, Instagram. Not, yeah. They don't let you get all the followers and let you come on, come on. Just be you and let the people come. You know what I'm saying? The best social media strategy you ever had. I say, man. So back to- Man, as always, it's always a pleasure talking. Me and you have conversations all the time. We always, we just talk amongst ourselves. But I think the biggest thing um, just to take from this is, once again, it's mindset. It's the mentality. Like, influence is going with a certain mindset. And uh, we all got to go in with a certain mindset. So I guess before we get out of here, DJ, let them know everywhere they can find you. Um, You know, all social media accounts, what you got going on. And then from there, we'll just close it out. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, you can follow me on uh, YouTube and Instagram now. I'm on YouTube, the YouTube is popping. We got uh, that thing. That uh, thing is popping. It's growing right now. We only been on there for a couple of weeks. We already got uh, five. We already passed 500 subscribers, and we and we count. So follow YouTube Country Cowboy. Follow Instagram Country Cowboy. You want to know uh, more information about all of the websites that we have? Uh, the influencer where you can get merch. Um, everything, mm-hmm. every, every, anything, go to countrycowboy.com. Yeah. Cowboy has two Y's at the end. Okay. So you can visit there. Um, the influencer, uh, can I be famous.com. Okay. That's still under, uh, countrycowboy.com, but you can definitely always go to, uh, can I be famous.com and take a free quiz to know if you're even ready to be famous. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you even have your, a mindset. Your ass person, might not even be ready. Your ass might not even be ready, okay? But the thing is, honestly, guys, you need to take that free quiz to make sure that you're even ready. And then once you take the quiz, you'll be led to a page that has a presentation on it that will explain everything that you need to know about building your followers. I even have a presentation back there about how I got uh, to my first 50,000 followers very quickly. And I teach people exactly how they can do that. The presentation is honestly free, but just go to cannotbefamous.com. Take that free quiz first so you can be placed in the proper position. You may not even need to know that information because you may be already ahead of the game. Yeah. So those are my handles that you can go follow me at. Like I said, Country Cowboy on all social media platforms. Make sure you really go to YouTube, though, because YouTube right now. You don't see me. It's all, you don't see me cameo, too. Yeah, <laughs> we have fun, man. We have a lot of fun. And that's what this shit is all about. So follow us on YouTube or follow me on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, at Country Cowboy. But that's uh, pretty much all my handles and you know how you get down with the get down. Yeah. Well, like y'all know, follow me on everything at Princeton Hicks. I've actually got it on the on the screen right now, so they'll be able to see all that. It is actually too wise. I feel like somebody was going to comment and say, I think you spelled it wrong. I was like, no, how the fuck is spelled? It's Country Cowboy with two Y's. But um, yes, besides that, man, like this video, share this video and comment below. What's your favorite part? Um, any any questions you got about being an entrepreneur, being an influencer, comment below. This is Action Takers. Any topics y'all want to talk about, comment below. If you're watching this um, on one of the, well, we got, we streaming on so many podcast platforms right now. Um, wherever you're watching this from, I just want to leave y'all with that message that these action takers, the people who take action, it's their mindset that gets them there. They just do. Just, yeah. just fucking do. <laughs> And the, Just more, fucking do it. the more you fucking do, the more you have an ability to really create some type of change out here. So with that being said, once again, Country Cowboy DJ, appreciate you for being the first guest on the show. And of course, you know, you're going to come back for some more. This is just, we getting, oh, we're getting yeah. our feet wet right now. But um, oh, yeah. I'm glad I got a chance to really do this interview because I think it's important for people to know more than just the old crazy side of Cowboy and really know there's actually a mind up there that's really doing shit and changing the world. Amen, brother. All right. I appreciate you having me. Yes, sir. All right. So peace out. Out.